I could cut down that big one over there with my 540. You know, let's just do that for fun. Well, I think it's cold enough that walking around with my GoPro not running, the battery got too cold. But if it's running, you know, it generates its own heat. Lesson learned. Is, lith is lithium different? You're right. stick saw do are you laughing at me do we have a power stick saw oh wow all right then well that would be really handy here well let me go look at my side weight here maybe I can just tip this over regardless let's see here I want it to go this way yeah it's gonna go that way I'll cut a deep notch. Everybody accuses me of cut, cutting shallow notches. Because we all know there's only one way to cut a notch. This way. So I didn't bring a big saw because surely the chip truck would beat me here. I had to drive all the way to Cambria. I can't even reach over my head and get that ranch there. If only I had a stick saw. Not recommended to reach over your head anyways. All right, cutting down a big tree. disappointing yeah we'll go get that I grabbed this off the shelf I don't think I hit anything in that pine oh it seems kind of heavy it's a 562 even better
just prepping. I want you to come over and be by me, Terry. Putting it in reverse now. Okay. Breakers might be a little aggressive on this to do a plunge cut. Got in there and then when I came in here and I got close to that corner. Alright, she's down. batting a thousand guys a chain break won't uh, stay unengaged well I'm gonna check in with the other guys this will probably be good enough for lemon
one more saw option. I could cut down that big one over there with my 540. You know, let's just do that for fun. Oh, that's like the good old days where I always seem to have dull saws because <laughs> Early on, I wasn't very much of a motorhead. But, so my saw maintenance was little to be desired. All right. We are going to do some Norwegian cutting. I hear they got short bars in Norway. I think I'll take these. Well, that's kind of some of my front weight. Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll leave it out front. Pick off a couple of these. Oh, we got a light. tag that light we'll pull that off we'll shorten that up did you say we don't have a stick saw guys <laughs> This is, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna get this out of the way though. Go get me. So we'll just top cut this and let her snap. All right, that's clear. All right. So you're in a pinch. You have to cut down a tree with a small saw. Here's how you do it. I was assuming a bigger truck was coming earlier than it is. So here I am and I don't wanna stay idle. I do have other work I could do, but why not demonstrate this? So I can't go so far in that I can't reach and get my notch. So I'm gonna have to go with a shallower notch. But it's got a deep notch. So that if I get in here, I can still reach it from the back. So, but I'm 14 inches, so I can be 28 inches across. Close. 26.
that would be that. Okay, we got a little bit of whittling to do. got the middle cut out we got a nice deep notch there about as deep as we can cut with this little guy and now we can plunge cut in here we'll plunge cut in there we'll put our wedges in and then we'll make the circle cut around the back and we'll be tipping this over with a little saw <laughs> felt a little less resistance as that went in. We put this right in this nice clean spot here with the bare wood and not the bark. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Frozen. That is frozen wood. All right, we don't really need it. Look at that cold wood we'll just put it in there like that we don't really need it <laughs> now I want to talk through that plunge cut or the, the bore cut is you want to hit it with your attack corner so that chain is pulling the saw in there now here's your most dangerous spot right here where your kickback corner is coming into the wood you want to kind of be moving forward like this as you come in so you move forward and then push it in if you just come in here like this and you're not holding on to this very tightly this can come right out like this all right so you're gonna put pressure on it and then kind of pull it back and push it in until you've got wood. Actual wood will prohibit the saw from kicking back. And once you're in there and you're plunging, then keep, your, keep yourself smoothly going in until you're all the way in. And then come up and finish your, your hinge. So as you get your hinge right, and you wanna watch your lines of your saw so you know you got a, a good hinge in there. And then you can start moving around. Now, I can 
We'll leave the bark on this one. Maybe we'll be able to sink this in there. Now I've heard guys say, oh, you gotta shave all that bark off so your wedge is against pure wood. Well, you see what it's doing on pure wood here? It's bouncing out. <laughs> if we were to put that on bark. Wow, so much for that. It just doesn't want to stay in that side. But I'm gonna cut backwards so that I fill this kerf. Fill this kerf with sawdust. It's not gonna sit back, I got front weight. Okay, Terry, where are you? All right, when you're done behind the bobcat there, uh, why don't you kind of come out and make sure nobody, I see that blue car came back. pine just crush brittle all right let's investigate this cut we had some funky hinge wood here it was kind of atypical kind of swirly it's going sideways there rather than directly vertical so it's probably that sound that we heard that pop was this tension wood in here. This might be a, like a low branch that was in here. Maybe it was a knot of some kind. It looks like it kind of is. A little branch that was down there low to the ground at one time. So, cut our notch and look at, we got, we got deep in there with a small saw. We, we had kind of a oblong shaped stump so we were able to get a deeper notch than we might have normally been able to if this was more round. Our notch might have been out here. But we were able to get pretty deep and open. And then my saw came in here and cleaned out the middle. If you remember, my saw was about like this. So now that would have been stretching it if we didn't cut off this flare. We would have been out here, it would have been close. But we cleaned out all this middle and then we were able to come in here and move around and and get everything you know and if we were way out here at the edge here it would have been close we still would have got it but so that's how you cut down a big tree with a small saw Game of trees, we're having fun. Time to do some lemon.
Well, we cut that down and up with a tiny little saw. Could have changed my work position on that last cut. Should have been out in front of that log where it couldn't roll on me. Of course, I'm pretty nimble, you know, Terry. <laughs> I had to kind of jump out of the way. The log, log roll cat like reflexes jedi reflexes something like that all right well we need a chipper all right game of trees we're having fun we took down a big tree with a small saw and uh, we're waiting on the chipper it's lunchtime so i'm gonna go eat like and subscribe Thanks for watching. See you next time. Playing the game of trees